Long before the periodic table as we know it, ancient philosophers like Empedocles and Aristotle proposed that everything was composed of earth, water, air, and fire. It was Democritus who introduced the idea of indivisible particles, or atomos. Centuries later, Robert Boyle would challenge these early concepts, defining elements as substances that couldn't be broken down further, setting the stage for modern chemistry. In the 18th century, Antoine Lavoisier listed 33 elements, categorizing them and establishing the concept of chemical elements based on experimental evidence. This marked a significant step away from alchemy and towards the chemistry we recognize today. The 19th century saw Johann Wolfgang Durbereiner's Law of Triads and John Newland's Law of Octaves, which arranged elements by atomic weight and hinted at their periodic nature. Although Newlands faced ridicule initially, his observations laid the groundwork for the periodic law. The real breakthrough came with Dmitri Mendeleev in 1869. He arranged 63 known elements by atomic weight and similar chemical properties, leaving gaps for those yet to be discovered. Mendeleev's predictions for these missing elements, like gallium and germanium, were incredibly accurate. Meanwhile, Lothar Meyer independently developed a periodic table based on atomic volumes, reinforcing the classification of elements. Henry Moseley's work in 1913 was pivotal, showing that atomic number was the true identifier of an element, leading to the modern periodic law. Later, Glenn T. Seaborg's reconfiguration of the periodic table to include the actinide series shaped its current form and facilitated the discovery of transuranium elements. Today's periodic table is organized by atomic numbers into rows and columns that reflect elements' properties. The discovery of new transuranium elements and ongoing superheavy element research continue to expand and fill in the periodic table. Key milestones include Mendeleev's 1869 periodic table, Meyer's 1870 publication, Mosley's atomic number-based redefinition in 1913, Seaborg's actinide series in the 1940s, and the synthesis of superheavy elements up to 2010. In 2016, IUPAC confirmed the names and places of elements 113 to 118. Mendeleev's predictions showcase the periodic table's predictive power, while disputes over element discovery and naming have led to standardized naming conventions by IUPAC. The quest for elements beyond 118 continues, with researchers exploring the hypothesized island of stability. Digital tools and applications of the periodic table in materials, science and technology highlight its enduring relevance. The periodic table's journey from ancient philosophy to a cornerstone of modern science is a testament to centuries of collaborative scientific effort. It remains an essential tool, guiding research and education in the ever-evolving field of chemistry. If you need to get a new copy of the periodic table, you can click the link in this video. If you enjoyed the content, like subscribe and share the knowledge.